out, David, and neither of them got out of the first round. Neither of them got out of the first minute. So, great crazy. action, <laughs> great action tonight at Hard Rock MMA 96 here at Shepherdsville, Kentucky Paraquet Convention Center. All right, folks, slowing it down just a little bit. We're 45 <laughs> seconds of competition in so far. That was quick math, Mooney help me. Snapchat filter. Less than a minute combined. Be sure combined. to utilize our Snapchat filter tonight. I assume all the fights will be like that. And also tag <laughs> hashtag hard rock MMA says, said, we'll on any be of out the here social by media platforms. All right. Let's go ahead and bring out fight that number standing three of the night. Fighting out of the red corner, Sean Van Hook. I am a soldier. Lightweight bout here, hard rock I MMA 96. Sean Van enemies. Hook. Representing Red House I MMA in Greenville, God Kentucky. 22 years old. He said he got into I MMA from Army God. Combatives classes and helped one of his co workers get ready for a fight last year and decided, hey, I might try this thing, uh, thing myself. So, member of the Kentucky National Guard is Sean Van Hook. Both of these guys, interestingly, really tall for the 155 pound division. Van Hook is. Six feet tall, Ferguson. His front of Marshall Ferguson, six foot one. Yeah, in my mind, I'm a killer on the front line. Hard line, crime for war time. In my bloodline, death by design. On the front line, still spit hot iron. Have a battle cry, keep me energized. Sean Van Hook said he's hoping to actually get into a lot of scrambles in this fight, which is interesting. That in jiu-jitsu, a lot of times you don't want to get in a scramble. That really is more of a 50-50 position. And introducing his opponent, fighting out of the B2 digital blue corner, Marshall Ferguson. Marshall Ferguson representing Apex MMA from right here in Shepherdsville. The gym of James London. James the Weapon London. Making their debut as a gym here at Hard Rock MMA 96. And I was able to talk with James a little bit leading up to this uh, for an article on Bluegrass MMA about the debut of Apex MMA. And he said Marshall's really come on the last few months. He started training in just Jiu Jitsu uh, twice a week. But when he started the gym Apex MMA, Marshall Ferguson approached him about maybe fighting. So. He said that this guy's like a sponge. You can teach him a technique one day and you'll see him that same day or the next day actually hitting it in practice. I know that Apex has a lot of positive momentum. They just opened within the last year. Some great training partners out there. I know Brody, uh, you know, Isaac, they've got a bunch of great guys over there. Very tough gym, very well respected in the Louisville and Shepherdsville area. And Marshall Ferguson also told me he has a background in Taekwondo and Judo when he was in high school. So, true martial artist, 25 years old. I watched his, vid, what's it called, a vlog? Do you see that? Yeah. He, he's updating yeah, I mean, updating his fans via, I believe it's a week, maybe a weekly vlog. Really interesting for a guy making his pro debut, knowing how to market yourself from day one. Is, that's pretty cool, pretty amazing. Actually, is uh, uh, in a uh, program called Code Louisville, which is a local web development coding boot camp after graduating from the University of Louisville last year. So uh, definitely a, a technically savvy guy is Marshall Ferguson. Which is, that's a lot of it these days, is if you can market yourself, you got to win. But the marketing side of things, regardless of how you do it, the people know who you are. And I watched the vlog. It was intriguing. You know, he was talking about how he came up doing Taekwondo and he's ventured into jujitsu and to different martial arts. We have one Judy Millar and James the Weapon London in Marshall Ferguson's corner. That's, those That's are, a pretty, pretty good corner. There. That is a heck of a corner. Judy Millar, obviously the, the head coach for one Lance Lawrence, very experienced, accomplished, and James the Weapon London, very accomplished fighter himself. Marshall, the Professor Ferguson. 
It's a cool name, the professor nickname. Lightweight out here, Sean Van Hook in the black trimmed and white. Marshall Ferguson in the all black. Rob Mooney also in black is the referee for this fight here. Talk to Brandon Higdon, the matchmaker. This was a guy, this was a fight that I think he was pretty excited about both of these guys. Said this card is filled with a lot of young guys from good camps. Nice body kick there from Ferguson, but he's dropping his hands. Oh, he clipped. caught him, he caught him. The right hand and stumbles. Another standing guillotine. And he gets the guard in. Interesting decision there for, for Van Hook. Van Hook does go for the, the guillotine with the, the closed guard. Doesn't Ferguson is, is trying to fight it. Has that arm in guillotine. Now looking to go to, can't tell if that was a darts there. Ferguson is struggling. Van Hook back to the And Ferguson half guard. taps Van Hook with the win. Clipped him on his feet. The biggest thing, Ferguson was dropping his hands bad and just got clipped and dropped. He got hit early. And that dictated, a, a, in large part, the rest of the fight, I believe. And then Van Hook immediately transitioning to the grappling. Yes. Got to think that's his strength there with those Army combatives background. Impressive performance there, Sean Van Hook, Red House MMA. Jason Weinel was the official result. Ladies and gentlemen, 33 seconds of the very first round. Referee Rob Mooney calls a stop to the fight. Your winner, tap out by guillotine, Sean Van Hook. Sean Van Hook with the win, 33 seconds into the first round here at Hard Rock MMA, 96. Gets the picture with the ring car girls. Impressive debut for Van Hook. 13 seconds.